Now, there's more than one type of delivery, isn't there? There's my favourite, the one where kablam, bowls go in all directions. OK, so let's take it back a step. Remember that we've already covered the draw shot, where the aim is to deliver the bowl as close as you can to the target. The target is usually the jack, but it might be another bowl or a particular spot on the green. But there are also a few variations of the draw shot, such as position or covering. This is where you finish away from the jack in a pre-selected position for a specific purpose. To cover a group of opposition bowls behind or to the side of the head, for instance. There's the block, where you play deliberately short to get in the way of the opposition's intention to draw or drive. And there's drawing to a spilled jack, when the jack's been moved off the centre line by a bowl. And when this happens, you need to adjust your line from the original mark to allow for more or less draw. Now, there are force shots. Aha, uh -huh, where I use my bowl, kablam, to force all of the other bowls off the green. Oh, uh, there's a couple more options rather than a drive and a draw. There's a controlled forcing shot, where you bowl through the targeted area to finish about one metre past the target. Why would you do that? There's a couple of reasons why you would do that. You might want to move the jack. You might want to slightly push someone's bowl out of the head. You might want to smash out a wall that's blocking you from being able to draw the shot. There's a few reasons. Then there's the firm forcing shot, which is faster again to displace the opponent's bowl or bowls out of the head to improve your count, to kill the head, or run the jack into the ditch. And then the drive? You can't wait, can you? Just really kind of big kid at heart. Kablam! So, when would I use it? The same sort of reasons as the forcing shot, really. To reduce your opponent's counting bowls or just kill the end. You said that before, and it all sounds a little bit overly brutal. Why would I want to kill the end? Let's say that you're playing a game and you need five to win, but you don't have enough bowls on the head to be able to get that five. The only option is to kill the end, to replay it and then have another go at getting that five. Can I drive now? Go on. This is it. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Remember, a pre-shot routine is essential for all shots. You want to be able to play all shots on both hands. And for all shot play, always balance the benefits versus the risks.